Hello, my name is Smicket, and today we're going to be learning about scientific notation. So, what is scientific notation? Scientific notation is how we take very, very small numbers or very, very big numbers and make them manageable. Okay, so for example, if your YouTube video has 13,386,000 views, you could also say that your video has 1.3386 times 10 to the seventh power views. Okay, so the idea is that 10 to the seventh equals 10 million times 1.3386 actually multiplies out to thirteen million three hundred and eighty six thousand. Okay, guys. So they're both the same number represented in two different ways. For a smaller number, like point zero 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 three eight six, you could also say that it equals 3.86 times 10 to the negative 5. So that shows that when you have a negative exponent with our 10, we're actually representing a very small number. So let's go ahead and do a few practice problems just to really get this to solidify. And also, of course, to show you guys how we change from this number to scientific notation. And also, how we change from scientific notation back to this number, which is in decimal notation, by the way. Okay, so if we get the problem where California has 38,171,300 people living there, we need to write the size of the population in scientific notation. Well, okay. So, the first thing that we need to know is that the number times 10 to whatever exponent is going to go there, this number has to be greater than or equal to 1 or less than 10. So that means we're going to try and take this number and reduce it down to a number that is greater than or equal to 1, or less than 10. And then we'll go ahead and multiply that number times 10 to however many places we had to move to reduce this down as its exponent. Okay, so, have 38,171,300 people. And we could also write this as that big number, Point zero. So what I'm going to do is take my red pen and count how many spaces there are, starting from my decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason I stopped there is because this will give us the number 3.8171. Three. Okay, guys, so if we multiplied that times 10 to how many did we say? 7. Right? Our exponent is 7, and that's how many spaces we moved the decimal back. Okay, guys, and wow, just like that, there you have it. It's written in scientific notation right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another example. So one cubic inch approximately equals 0 0.00016 meters cubed. Convert the number to scientific notation. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly what I did last time, just a little bit different because we're working with a really small number. And you don't have to put the decimal point there, because with small numbers, 
it's already there. So I'm going to go ahead and count how many spaces it takes to turn this number into something greater than or equal to 0 and less than 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, so with that, we get the number 1.6. We're going to do what we do with scientific notation every time and do times 10. And the exponent is going to be how many spaces we moved. And since we're working with a small number and counting to the right side, we are going to use negative 5. All right, guys, and there you go. We've got our scientific notation. And the more and more we do this, the easier it'll get. So I've shown you how to turn decimal notated numbers into scientific notated numbers. Let's go ahead and do the other way around. OK, so convert 7.623 times 10 to the negative 4 to decimal notation. So this negative 4 tells us that we're working with a pretty small number, saying that the decimal got moved over from the left, four spaces. OK, so let's go ahead and try to reverse what we've been doing the last two problems. So it came over from four spaces to the left because of the negative number. That means that we could put zeros in each of this space. And there you go. We found the original number. OK, guys, that's actually the whole entire problem. Great job. All right, guys, I had a great time today. Uh, I hope you did too. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want me to keep on making these awesome videos. Uh, yeah, adios amigos.